there are 13 on this list. So, myths. There is quite a few, some old, some new, that are actually a little, some of them are ones that can actually trick people. Some are kind of stupid. That I don't know why anybody would fall for them, but don't mean to offend anybody, but some of them are just kind of dumb. Like number four. But we'll start with number one. Number one, can water droplets burn leaves? Well, unless it is a pubescent leaf, though like African violets, no. Actually, all it does is just scatters the water around. The leaf doesn't give a crap about the water on it. So no, it cannot burn your leaf. Number two, will more fertilizer save my near-death plant? Uh, actually, no, it will not. In most cases, in all, pretty much all cases, it will not. In fact, all it will do is, well, It'll burn the leaves off from your plant and it'll kill it faster. I mean, a little fertilizer might help it if it's been hasn't been fertilized in a while, but I mean, giving it too much fertilizer will burn the leaves. But under fertilizing doesn't do much for it either. It's like if you're sick, if you take a whole bunch of different medicine, it's not going to help you. The healing just has to take time. It's like when your plant gets bugs. It suffers. Most plants really do suffer if you catch it in the later stages. It takes a while for the plant to regrow, regenerate, look good. Water your plants in the morning. Number three, house plant myths. Water your plants in the morning. You don't have to do it. You see, you can water your plants at night. Some people don't have a choice but to water your plants at night. But, you see, I'll, you might get some more mutation, the water droplets on the leaves, but, I don't know, I don't, you know, I don't pay attention to the time I water. Sometimes I water, I don't know when I water, but I water, I've watered quite a bit at night, and in the morning, and in the afternoon. It doesn't really get, they don't really care. As long as I get water, they don't really care. So, I mean, if you do, if you are an overwaterer, and you tend to water your plants a lot of, more often than they should be, Maybe watering in the morning might help because it's got some sunlight to help it. But at, a, at night, it just takes a little longer to get that uh, water used. Number four, the one that I think is kind of stupid. Cactus don't need water. They don't need regular water. Uh, actually, they do. They need quite a bit of water, too. When you do water them, they need quite a bit of water. You have to water them thoroughly. They don't. They may not need to be watered very often, but they do need to be watered thoroughly. They, you can go as long as about a month or three, depending depending on how big, depending on the pot, depending on everything. Depends on a lot of things. Some cactus that are in little four-inch pots, terracotta, might need to be watered weekly, or every two days. We don't know. It depends. Although I would repot that cactus. I mean, say you're watering that often. Number five. Plants steal your oxygen at night. Uh, it is true that they do release carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide, but they're safe. It's it's they're safe. It's nothing to worry about. Um, you would need a lot of plants. I couldn't even get enough in here to hurt me. I'm fine. These things don't kill me. I'm fine. I don't know. Is my monster in the picture? Maybe. I don't know. He's not. I don't think he is. But, yeah. Number six. Misting houseplants increases humidity. And, um, it's like a temporary thing. It Maybe for a minute or five, but it doesn't really help much. A calathea will not really have much of a difference if you mist it. So, I wouldn't rely on the misting. Even the rock pebble trick doesn't necessarily do as much. It does a little bit, but it doesn't do very much. Number seven. Do indoor plants go dormant? Short answer. Depends. Uh, you see, like, plants like oxalis, they maybe go dormant, but it's summer. Mine, was, mine bloomed all winter. 
and it went dumber, it went dormant in the spring. Uh, last time I checked, we're supposed to go dormant in the winter. Because they can't tell, because you can really trick a plant. I have grow lights, so, like, they are always at the same amount of light. Plus the windows. So, they, they're always tricked. They don't know what they're having. So I trick mine pretty well. They're always growing for the most part. So, not really. They don't normally go dormant in the in the winter. Number eight, bigger pot means you get a bigger plant. No, actually, it'll actually suffer most likely because the plant, you know, it gets had holds too much water, so it gets sick and maybe root rot, or it just doesn't like the pot. Because honestly, they don't. you don't need to repot your plants as often as you think. I mean, unless they're starting to fall over. But even when they're falling over, a lot of times you don't always need to repot them because the roots are sometimes not as big. So that's when I start cutting. But yeah, it's, no. That's uh, clear, not gonna work. I mean, I tried that once. With the, I tried that once when I first got my ZZ plant, and that did not work. It grew, it got a little bigger, but I ended up transferring it to a smaller pot, just because. Uh, number nine, droopy leaves means it needs water. Not necessarily because most, a lot of the times it can mean a lot of different things. Sure, a lot. Sometimes it can mean that. A lot of times it does too. But sometimes it can mean overwatering or not enough fertilizer, too much light or too little light. We'll get to the light in a minute. Oh, right now actually. Number 10. Low light means no light. No. Most low light plants actually should have about medium to high and direct light. Because it just low light means you can they can tolerate the low light. It doesn't mean they necessarily like it. Not very many plants actually like low light. So, if what is low light? Since it's not no light, low light is if you can comfortably read a book in the room with all the lights off, all of them. <clears throat> all right, number eleven, watering schedule. You don't need to have one. Some people do. Sometimes it might work. I used to when I only had like 10 plants a long time ago. I had my, I had a watering schedule. I tried to figure out when a plant would need water. But then later I discovered that they didn't always need water at that time. Or that they needed water before that time or after. So watering schedules do not work because it depends on the sunlight, depends on the humidity, depends on all kinds of factors. The temperature. It's a... Uh, you can't necessarily pinpoint it very much unless you want to try to pinpoint it every month and then get a schedule like that going that'd be a lot of work and it wouldn't be worth it uh anyways now scheduling is not a good idea i mean no not a really good idea at all number 12 myth number 12 letting tap water sit overnight to purify uh no it doesn't work there's one chemical that goes out but the other one it's called chloramine it doesn't, it doesn't go out. It doesn't. Um, it really doesn't. So, the best thing to do is get filtered water. Or use the water from your dehumidifier. Which is off right now because it is loud when that thing is on. So, that's something else in the background. But, uh, and number 13. Repot your plant at ASAP or as soon as you bring home. Uh, no, but you don't have to. You really don't have to. A lot of times plants like to stay in their grow pots. I have all my plants in grow pots. I think everything I got is plastic and a couple terracottas here and there. But, uh, when I repot a plant, especially like a philodendron or something, I tend to put it in the terracotta because of the problem of it doesn't always want to be repotted right away. But if it does need it, I'll do it. But anyways, my point is, I got sidetracked. My point is, you don't have to repot your plant when you bring it home. Put it in the cover pot, or put it in the pot that you want it in. Just don't actually take it out of the grow pot. I could use it as a cover pot. All right, I think that concludes our. Oh, 
Plus Plant Mints. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. I will see you on my next video. And please subscribe if you haven't already.